Okay, everybody, we're back with the 2004 RTV 900. I don't know why I keep saying 1100, it's a 900. But as far as my last video I'm talking about, and I was trying to come up with an option for the power steering pump. Now, as I showed in the last video, here's the power steering pump. I have it off out of the motor, obviously. It bolts onto the engine block. And, come on, focus. That male shaft runs into the injection pump cam. That's what rotates this pump and gives the power steering its power. Here is, I'll show it to you on the motor that it came out of. I gotta get the light. Oh, unreal here. Completely unprepared for the video, see? This isn't, this is a, I like to know some information here from people, what they think, because this may, this may work very well. Here is, here is where it sits into, like I showed in the last video. The power stand pump bolts there, runs off the injection pump. Now, because the new motor that I'm using, the injection pump cam does not have that slot. I got to remove the whole front of the motor, pull out the chain to swap the cams over. Now, how about just blocking that back up and instead of using this power steering pump, why not use the option? Why not use the pump right there? The pump that run that's that's back here. This pump right here runs the dump the dump bed, power dump bed, hydraulic dump bed, and also has the output here. You know, you can run optional equipment. I don't know how much uh, equipment really that this would work. I mean, maybe the chainsaw log splitter or something, maybe a jackhammer. But regardless, it has power here. And it would be more than enough to run the power steering. Now, even if you were to operate the dump bed while you were steering, you're not going to be steering a lot while you're powering the dump bed, both at the same time. And even if you were, it's not going to be that much. So I don't think this is going to take away any power from the power steering, obviously. It's so minute. So why couldn't I T tee, tee the two lines or even come right off of here with the T? Why couldn't you T the power steering lines right into this? Instead of having that pump system and it runs over to that tank just strictly for the steering. There's plenty of room over here. I mean, I could even, I could even eliminate that tank and the back tank, put a five gallon tank under here with all that room, and you wouldn't have the problems with the hydraulic overheating like I've heard a lot of these have had with problems. I don't know if it was being beat on or abused, but um, I could have more than enough hydraulic fluid. It would keep everything cool. I don't know what you guys think. Let me know what you think about this. If anybody here is a lot more knowledgeable than me, I'm sure, about hydraulics and, uh, and doing all this. Because that would save me a lot of time than, uh, than taking the front of the motor apart and changing the cams. I'd rather not break this motor apart if I don't have to. There's another way to go about it. That'd be great. Um, anyway, yeah, please let me know what you think in the comments. And if you want to subscribe to this and uh, follow me along with this. I'd love to hear some more input. All right. Thanks again.